All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm going to give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it times radio, BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It is Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. Yo, Bobos. <laughs> Sorry about last week, but there are some technical difficulties here because we just switched all the internet and all the uh, cable, so there's big problems. And I was, plus, I was in LA. It was actually supposed to be uh, Chad and Jess running the show, playing some um, Buddy Bill stuff of after the. Uh, fight broke out and everything yeah we had we had other ideas you know we were we came down and tried to rig it up it's like seven o'clock it's still not rigged up Sirius is on the phone like yo turn it on and turn it off it's like 705 turn it on and turn it off and then we couldn't get the show going we had all this stuff to play and all this stuff planned and then we're leaving and they're running a rerun and we're pissed and then we go seth yo uh couldn't get the connection up just tell bam whatever and Seth's like Verizon was here, and they is that what the it whole, was? They yeah. cut the whole internet connection and changed it to FiOS or some shit. So yeah. you're up there with the high uh, high class network. Yeah. I haven't seen a fucking difference. Whose idea was that? Like, well, when, when are you around to dude, check out FiOS? Okay, here it is with everything. Every everything I have, whether it's In a Lamborghini world? or whether it's like the Avid or whether it's the internet. In this case, Lennon's like, <laughs> yo. Dude, all you need to do is get this little thing, cost you 15 bucks, you run a little thing, next thing you know, boom, you got the fastest internet. I could do it right now. All you need to do is this, that, Dude, and the other thing. Landon, like, when Lennon says, all good. you need to do. 1,500 yeah. bucks later, they're digging under the driveway, <laughs> running a line all the way to the gate, which is like 80 feet away, costing me 1,500 bucks. Then the rotor gets stuck underneath the driveway, and they realize that uh, the driveway is ra- way too rockier than they thought, so they had to saw through the driveway. <laughs> oh, man. Plow the whole motherfucker up, and and once once you uh your, the car was past the, the the big hole, then you couldn't go in or out. So you had to park out by the gate or outside of the gate if you ever wanted to leave. So it turned into this big fucking escapade. That's and what happens when you live in the sticks. Like Chad, you can't even get cable, can you? No, I can't get cable. But actually, it turned out to be a good thing because I am so not pissed off anymore. Comparatively, I mean, I just used to sit there and look at TV and be mad at pretty much everyone. Because TV sucks. It well, sucks so bad. <laughs> Except the shows we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that girl Lois from MTV The got only thing fired. I did watch was Bam shows. <laughs> oh, no, actually. don't get into this. I'm going to get into it. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> Dude, man. this girl Lois, she did Laguna Beach or whatever. <laughs> In other and, words, and, do get into it. And because it was, like, a little bit successful, then she's like, well, what was it called? B, B and I came up Laguna, with Laguna, Laguna Beach. Beach. Then everything has to be Laguna Beach. And if it's not Laguna Beach, it has to have the Laguna Beach style. I mean, you could do Wildwood, New Jersey, but it has to be the Laguna <laughs> Beach plot. You could do Philadelphia with the Laguna Beach plot. What the fuck was... Uh, you could do Fane, what was Laguna Beach about? I don't even know. You guys watch TV. Know that place is. Dude, I, I think I saw like a minute of it and I was like, this is the gayest faggot homo shit I've ever it's seen. Like she like, got it, fired. It, it, it's all, it's all it is is just basically like little 17 year old relationships like oh. Bobby said this well, well I, didn't, I didn't say nothing about what Bobby said why don't you bring in Bobby like, well I thought that you liked Allison I don't like Allison I like Susan well, where the fuck is Susan you know it's just a bunch of fucking high school nonsense dude <laughs> isn't, this, isn't this the same chick it was like yeah you know we want to we want to go into a second season of your marriage show Bam but um I, to do this, um, we really need you and Missy to have a baby. No, no, no. It's it, like, it was it was basically like this. I have a great idea for the second season. <laughs> okay, what is it? Okay, you guys aren't planning to have a kid, but Mick, Missy accidentally gets pregnant, so yeah. now like you guys have to figure out a way to like. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was basically like that. I'm like, but 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 we don't want to have a kid yeah, right let now. Her, like, let her plan it. That's yeah, but <laughs> think about how entertaining that would be if you guys were just like. <laughs> But oh, it, oh but, my God! What do we do? Like, <laughs> but that, that's that's fine and well and everything. But it's like, uh, excuse me, you guys are aware that in order to uh, uh, you know implement your plot device, we do need to bring a human life into this world. Now, can we give the baby back when the show is over? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I, <laughs> I, I don't even think I'd have time to give birth to the baby in nine episodes. 
I know. That's what's you know great what I mean? about it. We get two seasons out of it, Missy. Think of the possibilities. The pregnancy and then the birth. <laughs> Think about the build-up when the third season happens. Because right when you have the eighth episode of the second season, then it could be like, then then. The kids coming on the first episode of the third season. <laughs> the first shitty diaper. <laughs> the first, the just, first of the shitty diaper diap blues coming. <laughs> just bar- <laughs> borrow Jess's kids. They look Margera as hell. And then, and then Bam can have a Bam moment, and then he can take the dirty diapers and sling it on Deco. It'd be classic. <laughs> it's like so weird. Some of the shit we can have. Doesn't mind. Then say she got fired. We can have jackass elements to Bam yeah. and Holy Union. We could sling <laughs> the shitty diaper diap blues all over Deco and stuff. And then <laughs> <laughs> Shitty dipe dipe <laughs> and then Shipper can sing the shitty dipe dipe blues. Yeah. It'll be cla- oh. it'll be a classic bam moment. Uh, See, that, that was, what she says? That's what was funny. Classic bam moment. Well, that's what that's what Devito always said. Like I remember one time, you know, moments. every everybody hates my cell phone ring because it sucks. But you know, I, I remember one time. <laughs> And then one time, one time we were in the middle of filming something that you know didn't even get used for the show, and Devito's like, "God damn it, Franz! It was in the middle of the Worse perfect. Than that. I had the perfect bam moment, and it was just ruined. All you hear is here. I had the perfect bam moment. I had the perfect bam moment. I'm like, you're making me fucking sick. <laughs> the fuck? You remember what the moment faggot. was? <laughs> yeah, it was like Bam was like, "Hey, hey, check it out." <laughs> like it was just something, something so trivial, and like, hey, check Missy, it out. did you get the invitations yet? <laughs> yeah, like anything that can be... Maybe, maybe it was just like something that you said to him like a week before that and he was just waiting for the perfect time to yell at you. The perfect kinda, kinda like, moment. Kind of like in, in, kind of like a Groundhog Day when, when uh, Novak called out Glam. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's why I, <laughs> yo, that's why I couldn't get any fucking sleep because my headboard was banging against my fucking head because you were getting banged out. Now, I want to know who was banging you out. <laughs> no, Glam was just had clenched flip, fist the whole time. So he just waited for the perfect perfect moment and then as soon as Novak sat in the van he was like yeah Glam it's why you I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you <laughs> but it was like you could it wasn't a good enough reason to officially kill somebody no, it you wasn't. could tell they that only got the you could tell he was just waiting for one week straight of just clenched fists like I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him <laughs> and then it was like a it wasn't even like a really mean thing it was kind of just like you know what's up Hannah how's that cheese thing? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually punch him? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He he went and grabbed him, and I was like, "Fuck! I better break this up." And I just I remember taking Glom's face and just shoving it into the fucking seat as hard as I could. Like, <laughs> like so he couldn't get any leverage. But the story that Glom told about what actually <clears throat> happened. What, now we were in a parking lot. The engine wasn't even running. He kind of grabbed Novak's uh, the the scruff of his neck and started jacking him up. And then we all jumped in and broke it up. Now. The story Glom told that I, I, I found out a couple of weeks ago oh, was that was, was that was that we were on uh, the highway do- going about ninety. He screeched that to motherfucker a halt. in park so bad. I skidded to a halt, causing all kinds of a traffic jam. Beat the living shit out of him yeah. right on the turnpike. Right on the turnpike, <laughs> and the cops came. <laughs> oh man! Wait, uh, hey, didn't didn't you almost beat Glom up over something? Yeah, I think he was talking about the time he was doing ninety, slammed on a, on the brakes when he was on, on his way here because I was about to kick his ass. For sure. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> he just hightailed. He didn't show up for a week. Like that. Yeah, remember that we had a show to film and he wouldn't show up for a week. <laughs> I wound up throwing his four wheeler around in the yard, like picking it up and just throwing. The driveway and beating the shit out of it, man. Th- dude, there's always drama that goes yeah, on. Whether man. whether you're doing Viva La Bam Bam the whole union Ming sure. Hags. I mean, Ming Hags has been the most fun ever. But I mean, there's always times where, like, you know, for instance, I was in the fucking warehouse filming. I I showed up at one o'clock in the afternoon and I found the out one that, time you were early. We, we didn't get start filming till ten at night. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, shit. Well, I'm in like basically Lancaster, so there's no way I'm gonna go back home. I'm like, I'm just gonna find a local bar and just sip on a beer. Next thing you know, it's not, it's like eight o'clock. I'm like shit faced by myself. Show up, and then by like one o'clock, we're like, I knew that there's like two hours left to film in, and I was like falling asleep as the film was rolling. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> how about no wait? How about the one thing we filmed at Arisafa Farms when the one line you could remember was wait. Where is this place? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no, no all, all I could say or remember was, yo, where the hell is this warehouse, dude? <laughs> Five, that's all I can say. Five pages of dialogue later, every line that's supposed to come out of his mouth is is that line. Yeah, and, and they would be like, like <laughs> Deco, exactly Deco, Dunn, and Rake would be two minutes into the conversation, and it would just be like, all right, I think we're here. 
Yeah, I think this is the place because we just passed the guard shack, and I was just like, "Where the fuck's the warehouse, dude?" <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you can't say fuck. Remember? Oh yeah, it's right. Well, where the fuck is it? <laughs> dude, <laughs> and we have an island. No, no, but G got even more drunk, and dude, it, oh, we filmed. Yeah. We filmed yeah, gold. We filmed yeah. gold with him. We we stripped him down naked and put him <laughs> well, in this hole. Well, wait, wait. Ta oh, tell G what he said to you because he was he was so happy about me being drunk he forgot to say about me what er, f about G what just how he was like oh man you are so lucky you missed it at our Safa Bam was so drunk like G, G he was, was throwing he was, he was, he was drunk no, no. he was throwing me under the bus he was like dude B Missy you're so glad behind you your back Bam was so <laughs> fucked up he was falling <laughs> in the, he he fell asleep into the woods man he was so muffed up annihilated Ooh, like and then and then all of a sudden me about his own condition. Then all of a sudden, like you guys show up, and it's just like, "Gee, you were a baggish." <laughs> <laughs> and then this is like, "Well, what, what about? I thought you said the band was. Oh, band was pretty medium. G was knocking over the airy lights oh, and things like dude, that. Yeah, he knocked, dude. He knocked he over, 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 getting naked. <laughs> and every time he gets drunk, <laughs> he's always just like, "Yo, Kim, get over here so I can rape your ass. You fucking <laughs> fucking bitch. He tried, to, uh, he tried to rig it for me to fuck him." Yeah, dude, he goes, he goes, yo, Kim, do you think Franz could fuck your tight little virgin asshole? She's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? He goes, he's like, he's like, no, come on. I mean, all the shit that Franz has done for us. I'm like, I'm like, tell you the truth. Wow. Goes, I'm like, I'm like, to tell you the truth, G, I haven't done fucking much for you. All I did was make money all day, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you ever notice God when, when damn he, that sweaty bitch. <laughs> do you ever notice when he's on like... Ten beers and like three Klonopins or whatever the hell he takes. He always gets all lovey dovey, like, I love you, Franz. I, I, nobody's mad at me. Man. I he tries just to love kiss you. Me when yeah, he's like that. yeah, he's oh, trying to make out with you. Man, I love you, Hannah. I love you, Art Department. I love yeah. you. I love you, Art Department. No. Kiss me? Huh? Did you no, I thought, thought it was hilarious. No, but, but not only I that, love you. but he's bipolar. Either, either he's yeah. real nice to everybody or he's just an angry, pissed yeah. off. Remember the time he kicked you in the balls for nothing? But, but, but not, not, I'm going to kick you in the balls like super yeah. light like he was so fucking angry where was that the other night that was when we filmed the sorority party scene yeah i was i was Why like getting there ready to that? film he just comes up all drunk with a beer in his hand and just punches me in the balls so i was like boom and i punch him like 10 times harder he's like oh dude that fucking look really hurt i'm like well, why are you punching me in the balls in the first place? Like, you know that if I if you punch me in the balls, you're gonna get your motherfucking payback, dude. Dude, he was in my face. Like, like I was there with the fucking camera. He's like, "Fuck you, fucking fronts," and he pushes me. I'm like, "Whoa, dude!" Like. Were you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm fucking sick of all the bullshit. I'm like, I haven't, I haven't made fun of you in seven to ten minutes, man. <laughs> like, fuck. He's an angry motherfucker. You know what it is? We make fun of him all day, and then when he, he gets drunk, it just, I think he remembers yeah. things. Yeah. Like, one time I told him to shut up because he was talking in the middle of a tape when we're rolling film. And, like, dude, two My hours. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates <laughs> uh, thank you g and then and then two hours later g comes up to us and, and he goes shut up tell me to shut up you shut up which <laughs> no, which number one if that's the best you can do that's sad number two if you're still thinking about it after two hours that's fucked up and three like all i did was tell you to shut up <laughs> like, i know dude fuck you i just had to, i just had to edit I, like I had to edit nine takes of Gene's security outfit, stop in our car, and he seriously says in each take, yo, 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 stop, yo, 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 and then when he gets run over, it's a oh. rap album. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 uh, and you think I'm kidding? No, he was dead serious. He wow. said, yo, er, like, every... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Moving his hands, also. Yeah, I yeah. Think he was supposed to be the drunk security guard. No, no. He no. was just no. He was no. just drunk. No. I, I, I can't believe that. That's insane. He was good. Though. I mean, he pulled yeah. it off. My, my favorite part was we're like, yeah. all right, you gotta, all right. Now you're, you're the security guard. You know, you, so you're looking around. Now pick your boogies. Yeah. Okay. No, no one's looking. So eat it. And then like. He kept on, like, messing that. It's like, dude, you're picking your boogies and eating, like, and you're messing up. The, how can you mess that up in a take? Like, yeah, he kept doing everything wrong. I love when, when uh, Dunn drove <laughs> through the, the warehouse. That, then uh, we, we filmed the next take of Dunn opening up the door. Chioda slates it. And then he's like, hi, asshole. Franz goes, 
Hi, that's all. What are you doing? And then he he gets all nervous and slates it again. He's like, "Not slate it again." I said, "Hi, that's all." <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Yeah, our, our like, camera system. He's like, "Warehouse, take one, <laughs> click," and then it's just like, "Hi." <laughs> Uh, uh, click! <laughs> oh, no, 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 take it! What the fuck? Hide under the car! Who slates a scene twice? Because, you know, the thing is, he's supposed to slate the scene, then quick duck down behind the car. And it's like, it's just slate like, he's like, what's that? What's a slate the scene? Slate the scene is when, you know, take two, action, then you, 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 you do the little clapper. CKY slates the fucking scene, bitch. Word. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Yo. Well, now I know. Did, didn't Shiota uh, couldn't get a boner when he was humping someone? Oh, yeah, yeah, my camera assistant Shiota. Uh, he got he got jerked off by this girl because he couldn't get a boner, and I was like, "How'd you get jerked off if you couldn't get a boner?" Yeah, thank you. And he couldn't he couldn't get a boner. And she's like, "Let's have sex." He knows this girl's for twenty for the, for twenty minutes. Her yeah. friend's waiting for the cab. He's like, "Okay, the cab's outside." She's like, "Let's have sex." He's like, "Okay, hold on." So he takes her behind the thing, and he's trying to make something happen. I guess the pressure was a little too much. He says the alcohol was too much. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> right. And, and next thing you know, she's sitting there flubbing his dong all soft. And, yeah. well, the, the, the magic actually ended up happening. But um, hand, and then she ate it. Yeah, he couldn't get a boner. Yeah, she did eat it. Oh, yeah. man. She made her eat it. She so, so she got no, so she got no pleasure in all the diseases out of that whole yeah. act. <laughs> she got the worst part of that whole fucking thing in her mouth. She had to eat a soft dick? <laughs> all right, hey, no, I'm, she didn't I'm, even eat the dick. No. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a song from a band from Germany called Beat Steaks. This is their new album, and this song is called James. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> and then we're gonna we're gonna call up Novak and talk about uh, the hot body contest. Oh, the God. hot body contest is. Uh, awesome. <laughs> you'll find out all about it. This is Radio Vampire. Sorry, G. I had your back. Yo, Bobos. That was the Beat Steaks from Germany called Jane Became Insane, and uh, I think we're gonna give Novak a call here because he just went to. Uh, the prequels in Baltimore. It's a horse race co uh, uh, competition. You went with bu the pro skater Bucky Lasik and his uh, and his girlfriend. And uh, wait, let me. Uh, uh, Novak's Novak's girlfriend's ex boyfriend was a uh, a Greek bodybuilder, and he flew in, and Novak was all jealous, and he was just like. What the hell would she see in some Greek bodybuilder? <laughs> <And we're> like, <laughs> well, you won a contest being a bodybuilder. That's yeah. pretty good for one. And Greece is pretty close to Africa, so he's probably got a big ass dick. Man, oh, man. <laughs> he's gonna take. It. He's like, fuck that! I ain't no jealous. Yeah, dude. I ain't no jealous. Dude, let me. I mean, let me, let me, let me preface this very, yeah. very, very briefly. <laughs> Novak, Novak opened this conversation up to me by saying, "By saying, yo, France. Oh, speaking of faggots, France. <laughs> fucking listen to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get this, Mandy. You know her, her ex boyfriend. You know he's some, you know, bodybuilder. He's all buff and shit. Now he's he's coming back to Baltimore to do some hot body contest. <laughs> you believe what a fucking faggot he is? I look at Mandy, look at Novak. I'm like, what are you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> jealous? <laughs> no, me no way. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude, what would some girl want with some dude who won a fucking hot body contest? I'm like, well, from the head to toes, shall we count thy ways? And he's like, he's like, I, I mean, is what, what has he got? That, like, dude, like me, I got him like probably fucking balls so big they're fucking hanging out from each side of his fucking <laughs> tidy whiteies dude fucking schlong the drapes down to his knees what the fuck would a girl want that for gee I don't know rip you want balls <laughs> rippling <laughs> muscles <laughs> yeah, you know why would a girl want that probably that's a couple like, dollars to spend on her that's like a girl saying oh my god this girl was you know she's a supermodel like wh why would a guy want to fuck a supermodel alright call him <laughs> alright Novak you have you have you have to answer this buddy yeah, Who you let's get him one thing. Let me put this up to the phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Okay, we're, we're dialing. What's with that little sound that always happens when you put a phone near a fucking electric? Um, no, well, no. It's, it's, it's... They should, they should fucking figure that shit phones, out, dude. Well, How much money goes into cell phones each year? Shh, quiet. It's enough to figure that shit out. Hi, Mandy. How you doing? Can you... Hi, Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Mandy, how you doing, baby? What do you want, man? <laughs> um, not too much, Novak. Hey, how you doing? Why are you bothering me? I'm trying to watch Sopranos. Did you did, did you ruin our uh, our book deal? By, by the way, we just signed a book deal for Dream Seller. Um, did you did you ruin it yet by doing heroin, Novak, or <laughs> you, are, are you yeah, managing just, to stay uh, clean? Just, uh, you got nine days, eight days clean today. Um, now I just ate dinner and you're bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, I, I'm gonna bother you once more by asking you um how the hot body contest went. Did you did you go? Who won? Or uh. Didn't you bother? <laughs> Come on, Novak. This, you, you can't let yeah, something. Yeah, he made it blow up in his face the other day. It was great. You can, no, Novak. You. I was drunk on a drunken Monday. I would fuck the guy. Is he hot? Dude, he was 
was hard to try, man. I was taking him off the track. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're being honest. He was covered in baby oil. The guy was, he was a hot Greek, a hot Greek guy, Greece. Hey, hey, was he covered in baby oil when he showed up from the plane to go to the horse races? Was he already covered in oil, or? I, I don't know, but he was high as shit on coke at fucking 10 in the morning. I know that. Man, he did, did Novak go to the hot body contest with you? Oh yeah, he stood right on the stage and cheered along. Are you? No, wait, come on. Are you guys put me on? Cause I are, are you serious? I swear to God, I had to see a fucking Greek guy throw every hole in my girlfriend's body. Why would you? Why? Wait, Mandy, I can't believe that you would go to your ex boyfriend's hot body contest and bring your current boyfriend. <laughs> Tell us about it, babe. <laughs> wait, is a horse race or a hot body contest? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Are you both doing heroin? <laughs> Uh, and we also had a bikini contest. I think and your I girlfriend has kissed you so much she's on. gotten high on They heroin. had a bikini contest at the horse races? Yeah, it's a shit fucking festival. It's like 90 Rock, which is a local radio station around here. Is it like a step down from the Kentucky Derby? You know, it was like millions of people. It was a shit fucking It was 100,000 people. Jesus. How many is the Kentucky Derby? That's what yeah, that horse program is like. Wait a minute. Well, okay. So it's a horse race where they have a hot, a dude hot body contest, a fucking bikini contest. What the hell else goes on? What kind of debauchery is this? I thought horse racing was like a high class event. <laughs> like, the, don't you picture like all kinds of rich dudes like checking out their fucking thoroughbreds? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Novak, weren't you going to bet on street smarts and, and you were going to win 150 bucks or something? Mandy, Mandy, what happened to Novak's watch? <laughs> oh, you still have it? It's here. Okay, good, because it, it never showed up at Ape's house, so I was nervous that some mailman was probably like, Oh, Bam Margera, let's see what this is. Wow, nice. It's a $20,000 watch, and well, Novak loses it. it. You would just blame it on me and say I lost it and never sent it. You wouldn't blame it on the mailman. <laughs> well, you Why are you so bitter, Novak? Yeah, Novak. What the fuck? No, if you ever do mail me anything, make sure you don't put my name on it, though. Put, like, uh, put Hannah's name on it. Put, put Fan on it. Harry Ballsack. Put Fan and Fane. I was gonna put, uh, I'm not sending it back. You're not getting that back. You gave it to me. No shit, ass. Not when you're doing heroin, fuck ass. You're gonna go pawn it off. I'm clean now. Did, did you ruin it? Seven days clean. Okay. I got seven days clean. <laughs> Come on, babe, I'm still quitting. He, he's, he thinks seven days clean is not clean, dude. Eight days clean, bitch. Oh, okay. Uh, my, oh, that's my totally apologies. different. Now, now, Novak, did you ruin our book deal yet? Because, because you know no, what, you you have to give the advance back, asshole. If uh, if I'm you know, if you fuck up, again. would you say pussy? <laughs> <laughs> would you fucking say to me? <laughs> oh, he, the singer. <laughs> is, is that the singer? No, he's the drummer. Oh, okay. The fat one. He's all rehab and shit. How, how can you do coke and be fat? I don't get it. You're fat already. Yeah, but like, if if you do it, like, you, you totally don't want to eat. Yeah, but you don't like just sniff a line and walk out 150 pounds skinny, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, if you do it all the time, then, you pr then you'll probably eventually lose a little bit of weight. You're right. Yeah, uh, uh, along with your teeth and your bone structure. Maybe it's um, really, really fat. Like, Wait, so you guys didn't argue about the hot body cut? Like, was the dude, did the dude have a huge fucking package, or...? No, that makes your dick bigger. No, it doesn't. It shrinks your balls. No, no. First, it makes your dick bigger. Then, when you stop doing it, it makes them small. But while you're doing it, dude, you get the fucking schlong of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, Mandy. So, so Novak, Novak didn't uh, didn't let his jealousy rear its ugly head, so to speak. No. No, he actually walked up to him, shook his hand. And my ex-boyfriend said, hey, we should hang out. And Brandon's like, yeah, give him your number. And I gave him my phone number. Now he's probably all mad. We're drink beers tonight. And I told him we're not going to drink beers tonight. But Brandon made the suggestion, let's go out and drink beers, when he was all oiled up with his shirt off and his hat. His <laughs> fucking out. fake. And then when it's time to go, why the fuck we going out to hang out with your ex-boyfriend, bitch? Bring me a beer, bitch. Well, you, know, he, you know, he's just going to use it as an excuse. Thank God he never called. I might be fucking single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, I'm going to play some rock and roll. All right, pussy. All right, hey. later, Novak. Hate mm. you. Later, pussy. Mm.
<laughs> he was excited as a heroin addict. Uh, yeah, you got to hear this band. It's called Korpiklani, and it's like Finnish uh, hump of folk metal. <laughs> it's this song's yeah, called good. this song's called Let's Drink. This is Radio Babe Track One. Faction. Dude? Yeah, dude. All right, kick ass. Yo, that was Korpiklani <laughs> called Let's Drink. Finnish hump of <laughs> hump of folk music. <laughs> Chiota, why couldn't you get a boner the other day? Why why couldn't what why couldn't you get a boner? Who are you talking to? I fine? drank too. Uh, much. Here, here's Joe Chiota, our camera sister, the, the the guy who couldn't get a boner the other day. <laughs> um, he's he's a great guy. He's a hell of a hard worker. He's, right. he's going to be good at something someday. Yeah, right. Whatever. But um, <laughs> why couldn't you, why couldn't you get a boner? Yeah, dude. Why not? Whiskey what dick. He had whiskey dick. <laughs> That's all you got to say for yourself. That's a bad excuse. But how did you ejaculate on a soft one? Yeah. You had a soft on the whole time? How the hell do you make that happen? It, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should take him to Whiskey Dicks in Philly. Why? What happened? I got an ass oh, kick in my life there. Remember did? I got put <laughs> up there? Yeah, yeah. I like Whiskey Dicks. They always treat me well. <laughs> whiskey but, Dicks. Yeah, yeah. Right next to the electric factory. Yeah. Man. What about it? Do you get, like... I, well, he had whiskey dick and couldn't fuck, so we should take him there. <laughs> That'd be his new hangout. I drink whiskey. I don't know what this whiskey dick you're you talking about is. You can't come on a non-hard if, it, It's like the type of thing, like, if you have, like, four beers, you'll be perfect at humping, but if you have eight beers, then you can't even get a hard on. But what about whiskey? Well, that's even worse. So you're saying what, what, whiskey particularly makes your dick not work. So the VH1... <laughs> too old to do so that the shit the VH1 now. Rock Honors uh, come on in three days. Dude, I heard that's awesome. Yeah, dude. yeah I, I, I heard you d actually did a nice job. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> hosting. Dude, I'm, I met so many fucking people, dude. Robin like, Williams came up to your parents and said you did an awesome job. Robin fucking, fucking cool, Williams. Dude. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fuck shit. And, uh, and the funniest thing was... Uh, you know, like Cameron Diaz was there, you know, Ozzy was there, ZZ Top, all these people. And Missy's like, the only person I'd really care to meet is Drew Barrymore. And then the next morning, we're up at the penthouse having breakfast. And then in walks Drew Barrymore, who wasn't even involved in the Rock Honors thing. So I'm like, hey, where the fuck is Spike? <laughs> and she's like, excuse me? And then she turns around, and then she sees me. She's like, oh, hey, what's going on? And then she sat and ate breakfast. I heard she was cool, Missy. She was cool, right? I was, heard she farted. She cool at, I heard she farted at breakfast. What? No, she <laughs> did not. She was wonderful. I could picture it though. No, she was so sweet. You could picture it. I had like a big vegetarian. And then remember we stop, and then, Chad. <laughs> Don't take away from my from my moment. After the awards, I I, I went out with <laughs> Kelly Osbourne sorry, and. Uh, I had a few drinks and I told her that I was gonna fall asleep on my pizza at the bar and I actually did. <laughs> and then when I saw Villa the next day, he was like, "It was so weird, man. I actually passed out from drinking and fell asleep on my food." I was like, "I did that yesterday <laughs> too," because <laughs> I, I haven't seen Villa for a while. So we got we drank like thirty beers. I haven't drank since then because I was we got so annihilated. He's been on a rampage, dude. I heard, dude, I heard you uh, got a little, uh, you laid some of the sounds on us from this new album, which you weren't supposed to do, which I'm not supposed to be talking about, but... You well, no, I, I, can pl I can play it for you all day long. You're allowed. I, I can't play it right now, though. What, is, <laughs> what are you talking about? Him's record? I yeah, dude, him, him's new album. They, they're, they're, they're taking Didn't they just do a new album? Yeah, they're, they're taking... How many it? albums do they do? Like, one a minute? Well, he's he's got a lot of ammo right now because he's in a big argument with his uh, girlfriend, who he's probably not with anymore. <laughs> You know how to be saying this shit. What's that about? I'm not gonna go into detail. Dude, I'm no, just okay. saying that they're having. Com just fucking went nuts. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying that they're having oh, trouble. Well, they're gonna go even more nuts because we were so annihilated and haven't seen each other for so long that uh, we did this Huck magazine interview <laughs> and got so fucking gay, dude. <laughs> I was like kissing him and shit on the interview. Oh. Woke up the next day just like. Man almighty. So, I just remember the photographer loving it so bad. He was like, yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All this shit. Money, money, money. Perfect. Shelby told me that she walked in and saw you guys just like all lovey-dovey on the couch and was like, bam, where's Missy? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, I can't wait I to see that spot. interview. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was... <laughs> dude, just picture... Just picture this, but it's not Missy's leg. It's Villa's leg. Oh, Jesus like, photos Christ. were just like this. And I have like a bottle of booze like right here, and I'm just like, <laughs> like those. That's what the photos were like, man. <laughs> and I never, I wouldn't have done it unless I was 20 beers deep, and I was 30 beers deep, so it was even worse. I'll tell you, that their new music's a lot harder than their their prior music. R rather than love ballads, it's like it's a lot more. I mean, it's, yeah. it's more. 
I, I can see their, their concerts being a lot more rocking, you know, like. It's what I told him was. Oh, what a fucking geek. <laughs> 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 Yeah, after, after I heard, can I be more of an ass kiss? After I heard the new album, though, I actually I just started laughing my ass off. He's like, "What?" I'm like, "I was like, I get joy out of your misery." And I was like, "Let me just shut the fuck up." I'm like, "I do. I get joy out of you being miserable." Wait, you because, said that to Villa. Yeah, because he he writes better lyrics oh, yeah. when he's miserable. You he, actually said to him, "I hope you're miserable all the time." <laughs> I was like, "Man, I hope you're miserable all the time." <laughs> Chad doesn't like hearing this stuff about him. I didn't have any problem with it at all. What are you no. fucking talking about? Did I say anything? You just did. Yeah, no, I, I said Ooh. I said they'd be rocking. Yeah. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't like hearing that, and you no. didn't like hearing that they Dusty. came out with a new album. Justin, should we should we talk about CKY's no. new album, or yeah, should can. we not talk about him anymore? Let's talk about CKY. Oh, that's great. Well, how's the new album coming? How's the Sweet Sounds coming? Sweet Sounds, I've been working on all fucking day, and really, all fuck a lot, dude. This is it new studio is done. We're doing it at my studio. Which is gonna be really fucking cool because we got all this fucking time. We don't have to fucking pay for any studio time, so yeah. we'll be fucking. Where are you doing some it. stuff like, at Studio Four? Uh, we did a couple drum tracks there, kind of early. But uh, what's the new album called, or can't you tell us? Why the fuck would we know what it's called? It's called right Fuck now? You, Frank. Because you're recording an album, pussy. Yeah, we're recording an album. We're not recording an album title. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's called yeah. Fuck You Front. It doesn't have a script. It's, it's called Infiltrate, Destroy, Rebuild. No, that was our... No, not Infiltrate. <laughs> remember, remember he yelled at that fan? So how's Infiltrate, re 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 Rebuild, Destroy, destroy Rebuild? Wow, 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 wow. How can you rebuild what's been destroyed? That doesn't make any sense. What the hell? You don't build... You don't infiltrate something... Rebuild it and then destroy it. And rebuild. Why would you just? Why would you do you that? that, 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 that you know what? Fuck this interview. Listen to yourself. I'm out of here. <laughs> the kid, the kid booked your whole Salt Lake City meet and greet or whatever it was, and you just reprimanded him in front of all the fans that he invited. So what do you think of the new infiltrate, rebuild, destroy? Wait, 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 wait. You guys told this story so long ago on this radio station. How many shows have we done here? It's well, not me particularly, but this radio bam in general. So you do you listen to them all? What is this? The two? Oh man. Yeah, We've done so many show. episodes. How many? I don't know how Howard Stern does it, man. Well, I guess he gets all these like news reports and shit. I don't do that. It's I a just, longer show. I just too. talk. Yeah, I just talk about like what's been going on the past week or whatever and all that shit. I don't go into like news. He's reports got a bunch of writers and, and shit too, though. That, that yeah, I'm sure he has yeah, tons of help. Like, you go into stuff. news reports. You talk about random shit that you hear about. Oh yeah, if it's like what about Clay Aiken's haircut and fat? <laughs> <laughs> is that shit Karen or what, dude? How how Clay get, how, got all fat because yeah. he blames it on nerves. <laughs> <laughs> the why don't, why don't you tell everybody the new mural we have, courtesy of Seth? Oh yeah. Oh so okay, oh, I was gonna so, drive yeah. through this shit. So my so my garage door has uh you know a gay astronaut who never made it to space, <clears throat> Lance Bay. and then uh, <laughs> we have He's Ronald Reagan. It says, "Fuck Reagan, he's a fuck ass." And now I have Osama bin Laden holding a basketball with a 76ers like jersey a on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a seven. He joined the 76ers. <laughs> if anybody asks me, like, "What do you have Osama bin Laden?" No, 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 no. He's on the 76ers. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's why he's on the news all the time. He must be making all them three pointers and shit. Like, no, you got it all wrong, man. He's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He, as far as I'm concerned, he's number three on the Sixers, dude. Did Pat's three. friend go into like how the basketball symbolized yeah. the world because yeah. the world's spinning on his finger? <laughs> like, I mean, look at it. It's like the world's spinning on his finger. Hell, he's wrapped around my finger. <laughs> Just make it no sense because yeah. they're from Marcus Hook, PA. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's hear some Mondo Dio from Sweden. Boo. Track what two, Bobo. What the fuck are you yeah. talking about? Mondo, what? I can't even Mondo it. Dio, the new album, it's out. Not it's, Mondo oh. Generator. No, Mondo Dio. Are they allowed to just go ahead and take it? They probably didn't even know. Yeah, right. Who's this from Sweden, dude? Oh, that makes it all the difference. <laughs> Who, well, well, let's, no, CKY will be in Sweden on July 1st or 2nd. We'll be in Norway 1st. Or second at some big festivals. Oddly enough, we're playing with Avril Lavigne and um, my, my <laughs> Chemical <laughs> Romance. CKY, awesome. My Chemical Romance, and Avril Lavigne. That's awesome. That's, an That's diversity. diversity. That's the way to look at it. Can you buy Rudy and Blitz at the merch table you or? The Hell yeah, dude. Okay, kick ass, Franz. You fuck. I'm dick. giving. Yeah. That was Mondo Dio. Oh man. Yo, Mondo Dio. I forgot to say. We pulled up to uh, uh, in L.A. Uh, it was me, Missy, and Villa. We Coy. were going to 
At Koi, yeah, it's it's basically like the hot spot in LA where all the, like the photographers hang out and the filmers. Darren and as soon probably as, hangs there. As soon as we get out of the car, there's <laughs> there's a uh, a guy with a camera and a microphone. He's like, "Bam, what do you think of uh, Paris going to jail?" I'm like, "She should probably just suck it up and do it, dude." And then Villa just comes up, give her the death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's trying to give their like useful information. Like, I think that she they should probably not be so harsh on her. I'm just like, yeah, she should probably just suck it up and power it out. And Villa's like, give her the death penalty. <laughs> That's awesome. God damn just, that sweaty bitch. And then we stroll in all wasted. And stuff. <laughs> oh man, I was a pile of those whole two days, yeah, big time. <laughs> and then uh, and then I saw Sean Penn. I haven't seen him in a while. Is he still all all muscly, or is he toned down a little bit? Uh, I was so hammered. I'm barely <laughs> hammered. Dude, last time I, last time I saw him, he was carrying out a bunch. Dude, even, even, <laughs> there's this guy, Bruno, who has like an eight-pack. Oh, he's the best. Who's always I love up. Bruno. And I love him. He's in Ming Hags, and uh, Franz just got all emo when he left. He's like, well, who wouldn't want to be Bruno? I'm like, I wouldn't want to be Bruno. <laughs> well, think about it. He works at a, a lawyer's office. He has a six pack. He's got a hot ass girlfriend, and, 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 and he's he's a black belt in karate. I mean, who wouldn't want to be Bruno? He's a black belt in kararate. He goes on vacation four fucking times a year. When's the last time you went on vacation? And he's in my favorite gay I, I treat my girlfriend like shit. <laughs> I, I don't get, take I her get on paid on my vacations, dickhead. I, I That's go how places. you fucking do it. No, 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 no. We all go. go. Yeah, no, no, I got a no. hundred grand to go on my vacation. No, we all okay. we all yeah, go on, sitting right here on the fucking table. We all go on vacation. We all go places and work, dude. But but Missy, when was the last time Bam took you somewhere? I was like, yeah, like we're gonna go to the Bahamas. And LA, not worry bitch. About- yesterday. Yeah, and- Vegas. You met Drew Barrymore, fuck's sake, up in a penthouse suite where nobody could bother. Us. You were networking the whole time, dipshit. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when, was the last time, when was the last time you gave dipshit. your girl, your girl, your? I, and I don't, I, I don't do it either. I'm just saying. Here's a guy. Here's a guy with a decent career. Makes makes good money. Makes like a hundred grand a year. Does I respect thing, that, but I would not want to be once. Brutal. Once a season goes on fucking vacation. He's built like a brick shit house. He's a fucking black belt. He's a cool dude. All the <laughs> Yes. All right. is getting a hard on. Oh my right? God, dude. Are you in love? Oh my God. Did I fall in love with him? You're getting, you're getting a half on, dude. Did I, I'm sorry. During the song, you I were saying how you love bodybuilders, you love them and shit. We <laughs> love them. I like love. Them. I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, now it's like now. Now it's like. I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, for what? Dorian Yates. For what? His achievements in bodybuilding. What do you like it for? He was like a seven-time Mr. Olympia. Do you use it to encourage you to do better film work, or do you? Masturbate? It inspires me. You know. You know what? You know what's intriguing to me about about um, Arnold Schwarzenegger? He knows three. three what did you just three call languages. Him? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. Oh. Franz wants Bruno to give him a leaky ass. Yeah. No. You want a leaky ass? Yeah. Don't you, why not? Get me drunk enough. I'll do anything. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Shit, Franz, dude. Right. You gotta film Whoa. some more. Okay, you, gotta, you gotta film some more time lapse. It got dude. quiet. You want a time lapse? That's last second. Hey, when you bitches, when you bitches see Bruno in the movie, you're gonna get as wet as uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, did. Hey, remember, remember when Angie was lubing up his thighs? No, <laughs> and Dunn, no. Ryan Dunn's girlfriend. No. Yeah, she's in the movie. She's she's in the movie. She's That's awesome cool. in the movie. Ryan Dunn's great in the movie, but in the one scene. You know, it, it, she's she's lubing up Bruno's thighs, <laughs> and Ryan Dunn fucking comes up to me. He's like, yo, what the fuck, Franz? Learn how to fucking call cut if you're going to fucking call action. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, for the past fucking five minutes, we haven't been filming, and Angie thinks we're still filming. She's over there fucking rubbing oil all over hot, fucking hot Bruno's thighs. What the oh fuck? Oh, my God. And I'm like, Bruno's <laughs> thighs. I was just like, uh, I, everyone else knows we called action. Jesus. Everyone else knows we called cut. Save and it for your fucking freaky little fucking Philadelphia <laughs> band. Take it back to Fairmount. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back to Fairmount. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. When you guys are done filming this movie, Bam and I are going on vacation. Yeah. We just went on a vacation three no, days ago. a real ago. vacation. We're going to try... Just like Bruno. Just you, like you Bruno. Having, you having try- breakfast with Drew Barrymore on the top of Mandalay no. Bay penthouse suite is not a good enough vacation. Oh, no. That was one... The Bahamas. Hey! Hey, it's for horses. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, it is. We went on our honeymoon, and you spent half the time skating with mm. Ryan Shackler. And on the, the phone other with half, me. I was fucking the NBA. He was calling me every five minutes. Fun. I'm like, why aren't you fucking your wife? You're, you're on because your honeymoon. Because it's four honeymoon. in the morning. I was all hopped up on Adderall. Hopefully, <laughs> 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 I flush the rest of those down the toilet, yeah. so we don't have to deal with that I know, shit I, anymore. I haven't drank and done with that Adderall. For a day. Well, Thank I, God. I told her to chuck the rest down the toilet. I didn't want to. Oh, I don't like the way I feel when I'm not doing anything. 
Right. You know, like when when you wake up all shit bag from feeling like shit from drinking whiskey or whatever. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as you take a shot of whiskey, when you wake up, you're refined again. I don't like, do that though. Well, I stop. Yeah, but a lot of people do that. Hey. <laughs> you did. It's fun to go on like ten day benders, but you have to stop sooner or later. You planned that last one. Oh, I yeah, talked to you in L.A. Yeah. and you were like, "All right, I just killed it at the fucking awards." Yeah, and now I was going to go on a bender because I was I was <laughs> you ten, that, I was so. ten days nervous of doing that those awards. Longer I was like, "I'm go yeah, you even longer." Nervous, so when I did it and I didn't stutter at all and I didn't fuck up, I was like, "I am going to get wasted." I told Kelly, "I was well, I'm going to fall asleep on my pizza. I'm going to get so wasted." <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> yeah, I just spit all over oh, the computer. Thank God her bodyguard was there with us. <laughs> Picked you up from the table, carried you uh, through the casino at the Hard Rock, and put you in the car. Bodyguard? What was Hell his build? Yeah, I don't know what his bodyguard. fucking build was, Franz. <laughs> well, if he's a bodyguard, he must be pretty big. <laughs> sweaty with a nice oily he cock. A, I <laughs> <him>. <laughs> oily cock. Maybe he could give me a leaky ass. What's his number? <laughs> <laughs> you, want a, you want a leaky ass, dude. I hey, look, Bruno's a hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think it's time to go, dudes. No. We're having too much fun getting gay with Bruno. Hey, when you guys see how good Bruno is, you know what, fam, fam? Getting gay, gay, gay. The show is cut short the week before because they kept playing Offspring and shit in between the show. Remember that? Yeah. Now we're talking about it. So it's 52 minutes at this point. I say give them at least eight. Hey, you I have an eight-minute song right here. Oh, that's how you do it. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> Unless you want to hear Franz talk about dick sizes and bodybuilders. <laughs> you know, he wants to have a leaky ass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this fun. asshole does me today. I'm sitting there and working. You know, I'm sweating. He goes, yo, hey, you need a hand? And he's swinging his little dick around. You know? <laughs> <laughs> how does that help me? It doesn't at all. You got so mad about it. You're like, you're like yeah, you piss next to my truck fuck. and then you do that, man. You're like, what the fuck? Fuck. What, what the, the fuck? fuck is wrong with you? I'm doing the old helicopter. I got what fucking, the fuck? I got fucking nine inches soft swinging around. He's not even impressed. <laughs> this motherfucker. Nine inches of soft. I got nine inches of soft. You're not even impressed. I, what the fuck are you packing, motherfucker? That's little? That's Me and Franz were down by the hobbit hole in the morning, and we're both Look pissing. Look at up his dick trying we're, to we're pissing, how big it is. We're yeah. pissing right next to each other. <laughs> how is that little? Yo, we're pissing like two feet away from each other, and then I just look over. And then I look at mine, and I look at his, and I just put my head down. And like, <laughs> God damn, dude. Yo, I bet you Novak and Franz pissing together should be a photo, because it, it's like hot and cold. Like, you know what? You know what? That happened night and day, dude. Ch Chayota, what happened at the Phillies game? What happened at the wait, 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 give, give him, give him the... What happened at the urinals at, at the Phillies game? Oh, we all went in to take a piss, and, and of course I looked down the way, and... Everyone's pissing normal. Of course, except for you. <laughs> of course you know. what, are you, what are you doing? You're pissing normal. Yeah, everyone's like pissing normal except Franz standing two feet back. Hey, Chayon, look at this. He's holding his dick with two hands. <laughs> everybody, everybody down the line of urinals is like looking like, what the fuck? And it's like Dooner, like the, you know, our, our our producer Dooner, our associate producer for Ming Hags, um, Brian Matthews, and there's Chayot and a couple other guys are with. They're all like. Then they're all laughing, and everybody else is just getting so bummed out there. Dude, we should just go to urinals at, like, the Phillies game and just, like, go up next to people and just, like, take a look at this thing. I did it, dude. I did it to just be like, dang, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, to a complete stranger, just to be like, just to see them be like, fucking idiot, you fucking fuck. I did <laughs> it. my dick. <laughs> I did it to fucking Deco. Deco was like... You know, he likes to, like, fart real quick and then run away, and then everyone else around you thinks you fart, like, in an airport or something. Well, I was in an airport, and it was just me, him, and this little Chinese guy. And I'm like, I'm just going to, like, okay, Deco was coming out. He just took a shit. He flushed. And the little Chinese guy was walking by. At the same time, I'm like, I'm going to fuck with Deco. So I'm going to give him a surreal experience. <laughs> so I fucking, doing the helicopter, I'm fucking swerving my dick around, <laughs> twirling it around like a fucking baton, dude. <laughs> And then there's fuck there's a little Chinese guy who walks by, sees this. Now coming out of the out of the stall is Deco. That's, yeah, that's, that's my dick. <laughs> flapping around. Now here comes the Chinese guy notices this, gets bummed out, and Deco walks out of the stall and sees this. Now I think Deco, having done the Chinese rap and shit, I think he's gonna appreciate this more than anyone and be like, Franz, that was the fucking funniest thing. <laughs> Later he comes up to me right before we get in the flag goes, Franz. That is a gift, and you are fucking abusing it. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and he got so mad. He didn't talk to me the whole yeah. flight, and I had to sit next to the guy. You had to sit next to him. I had to sit next to him on the fucking flight. <laughs> and he didn't talk to me one time. He was so bummed out. I was like, dude, I thought... 
I did it to make you laugh. Kick you way up into a tree. Who wants a taste of my oolong tea? Ho ha ho ha ho chee chee. Everybody in the phone book named Chang. Wanna see my bang? Never good, go and hit the gong with a bang. Wah. Everybody wanna see me throw a fireball. But that's not right, not in real life, you will fall. Down then break your leg. Everybody wanna see me break an egg. Well, I don't. But I like fried rice. And I ain't got lights. Ching chow woo ching wang woo white. That ain't nice. Four quarts of cookie. I always told you twice. Maybe. Delivery's free, but not for me. I always tell a dollar fifty, fifty-five. Wanna see me go down? Hit you with the line. Yeah. Well, when I hit you with the shit. Yeah, yeah, you dude. think he would find that funny, but no, he got bummed out. No. Um, he didn't like the dickicopter. He, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and neither did Hain, and apparently nobody does. But, you know, to answer your question about Novak, the other day we had to take a piss together when we were, we were uh, transferring some of the footage from Ming Hags. And I was at the urinal. There's two urinals in a row. I went into the urinal. He went in the stall and shut the door and locked it to take a piss. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure he was taking a piss. Yeah, yeah I can right. hear the tinkle, tinkle. Taking, yeah, and then as soon as the twist, I just <laughs> take uh, another vein. Is what he, was doing. <laughs> he was doing nah. shark fins all day long, bro. Uh -oh. I'm shark six days fins. clean. <laughs> I'm six days clean. I mean, eight days clean. Damn, I swear to God, I wasn't doing no shark fins and no bear. Shit shit. I love how that's his big accomplishment. Like other people, you know, go to college, you know, put out a skate video, make a movie. His is eight. Days clean. Wow, that's, that's quite an accomplishment, Novak. But no, 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 glad to see you haven't pissed away your life, Novak. How come you've been like popping all these pills and getting all shit faced lately? Because I'm celebrating about my book being done. <laughs> that was two years ago. You got it done. <laughs> I know. I'm still celebrating. <laughs> I, I we know. We, 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 we like two years. He's still celebrating about he's how the book for almost eight got days, <laughs> eight days total out of like how what forever out, out of his life. Ten yeah. years. Thank you, Chad. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> he did go like a good seven years though. That was the longest he's ever made it. Yeah, without doing heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else just made up, made up. I mean, the cumulative drugs that have been in that guy's body, he shot a bleach, for Christ's sake. How is that guy still fucking alive? You know what? He, he, he ate uh, eight Xanax bars um, and, and went to the hospital. And I was like, I was like, Novak, that's fucking, that's 24 Xanax. He's like, no, no, it's just eight. I'm like, eight bars, which is four apiece. He's like, okay, they're two. It's like... I don't even take the shit, and I know. Like, you're a professional pill popper, and you know that it's four on one. His, so you did 24. It's for old people, eight dude. Times four is... Pills are for old people. Wait, what? Let's see. What's eight times? What's eight times four? Is eight times what? what is <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you're right. 32. Oh, fucking hell. 32. Well, That's I quit school in 10th grade. So what do you want, bitch? Did the whole room agree with Bam? <laughs> I didn't hear the answer. Eight days a week. So I was just concentrating on the next way started, I could. You started to make me think, like, oh, my God, did I just say something so stupid? Shit. I I, can, I thought it. No, you're right. You're right. I okay, so 32. Sorry. I was just thinking about the I'm next way I could cut What's down. The capital of Lithuania. <laughs> Vilnius. <laughs> Vilnius. Vilnius. What's the capital of uh, Gorgonzola? Norway. Norway. Oslo. What? Gorgonzola. There is one. <laughs> nah. What's the capital of Antarctica? If he knew it, I'd be. There impressed. isn't one. Ross Ice Shelf. That's where people very camp good. up. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's a fucking talent. There man. is no town. World's greatest. Uh, how many? How many? Capital namer. How many states are in the United States of America? No. I think there's 52 I now. I think there's between that Very letters good. and the alphabet. Is Washington D.C. What's the cat? Is now Washington D.C. is not a part, not officially uh, a st in no. a state. I just know capitals, <laughs> fra. Okay. <laughs> now fuck it. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, this song is like literally eight minutes long, and uh, we better get going. And All it's right. not this, <laughs> but it is Dragon Force, and this song is called <laughs> "Through the Fire and Flames." They're from England. They're on road. They're on road runner. They're on road runner. With the new CKY albums on road. CKY will be playing uh, July first and second in Sweden and Norway, and also at Rex's sometime in June, I think. Right, Hannah? If you don't go, your pussy. Who's, who, who's opening that show? Are you scratching? I think Joe Franz and the Wankcopters. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Joe Franz and the Wankcopters. RyanGPhotography.com. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. You didn't just say that. Huh? All right, here we go, Mary. <laughs> That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. Every you can leave now. It's Radio Band. Radio Band, everybody.
Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later.